This is the story of how I wrote my latest song, Lovers Again, with the help of my followers on Instagram. And then we made a choir of about 100 people through TikTok to sing with me on the song. It all started on one cold night in winter. I was sitting on my bed with a guitar, just writing a song. I'd come up with about three good lines for this chorus, but I couldn't think of the fourth one. So I decided to just throw it up on my Instagram story and see if anyone had a suggestion. I'd go to bed, wake up. I figured at the very least I would get some feedback on the song or maybe a few ideas on how to finish it. Well, I hate the fact that we're lovers again And we're both gonna hide it from all of our friends Cause we tried being lonely and couldn't find anyone new Punchline, do. Alright, let's see. When I woke up the next morning, no word of a lie, I was so shocked by how good and how many responses there were. It kind of just blew my mind and here was my reaction. Apologies, but a lot of this happens in Instagram stories, so it looks kind of weird. Alrighty, so some of the lyric suggestions from you guys are so good. I mean, I love, obviously, I love all of them, but they're not all created equally. Some of them are actually so good. I'm thinking, huh, can we, can we work something out here? Is there a way that we can work something out? So I hadn't done this before and I swear I wasn't planning to do any of this. I was just kind of making it up as I went along. How good are you guys? This is the coolest thing ever. I, I underestimated you is what I'm trying to say and I'm sorry. While you're here, I'm going to get into this YouTube thing a bit more. So if you want to throw a like and a subscribe and all that kind of shit and press the bell, that would be super cool. Obviously, if you're already here, you probably already are. But yeah, I appreciate that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share all of them and then I'm going to start picking some of my favorite ones, kind of reworking them a little bit and seeing them how I would sing them to add it to the song and then what i'll get people to do i think is tell me which their favorite one was yeah we'll see if we can see if we can make this happen so i started picking some of my favorite ones and just kind of molding the lyrics so that they would suit the song and my voice and these were the top five i think i like that this one is simple it's like because we tried being lonely and couldn't find anyone new baby it's always been you it's nice we're like a wish that can never become true. And this one could be kind of cool if it's like, looks like we're stuck here being me and you. For this one, we change it a bit and be like, all I was looking for are pieces of you. It's nice, it's clever. It, this, this might not. The other half of me is looking like you. This is strong. Alrighty, if you have been following my stories over the last couple of days, you will know that with your guys' help, your guys' help, I don't even know how to say that. With your help, we are trying to find the last line of a chorus that I'm putting together. But I hadn't really planned it very well and I got all this feedback from which one people preferred, but I wasn't like keeping track of it. And I decided to basically pick the top three that I kind of felt were the best ones. And then I have this light behind me and I can change the color of it. Like boop, boop, boop. So I decided to play the three different versions and have a different light behind me. And then I would have that light correlating to a color of a heart emoji. So whichever one you liked, you press the heart emoji of the color that you liked. And then I was going to try and go through and like add all the votes up and everything. That other half of me is looking like you. Well, I could wish that didn't want to come true. Guess I've been looking for the pieces of you. Full disclosure, I had a favorite the whole time, but I kept getting all this feedback that the other ones were really good and I did like the other ones as well. So I had to come up with an idea where I could get my one in, but not let everybody down and not betray their trust. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. So I'm going to disappoint some people. I'm going to make, I hope, more people more happy. It was so divided. It was so split. I had a personal favorite, but I kind of loved that my personal favorite wasn't necessarily the favorite of other people. And for the sake of this song, I thought it was really cool if we, instead of picking one of them, I rewrote a chorus so that we have all of them. And I would like to offer each of the three individuals who inspired each of those three lines a percentage in the songwriting. You guys are the best. I couldn't have done it without you. Appreciate everyone who voted. Have a listen. Well, I hate the fact that we love us again, but we both gotta hide it from all of our friends because we tried being lonely. But couldn't find anyone new Guess I was looking for pieces of you Hate the fact that we love us again We're always so damn sure in the final end But like I wish that didn't want to come true That other half of me is looking like 
So I started recording the song. I wanted to keep it super simple so to let the songwriting really speak for itself. So I only wanted a few instruments and originally it was kind of slow, but I've written too many ballads in, in the last like, I don't know, year or two years. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and make it a bit upbeat, play around with it. And I came up with a soul groove that kind of sounded like um, Stand By Me, but I had to change it a little bit, obviously, because I don't want to plagiarize. And then I used like pots and pans and cups to, to make the little percussion sounds. While I was producing it, I filmed a little video of me playing the chorus. Truth hurts when it's always you and I hate the fact that we love us again and we both gotta hide it from all of our friends. Eventually the song was done and I was super happy with it. It sounded cool, but it was definitely missing something. And I realized that like, what's the thing that I love to do the most? What's the what's like the best part about what I do? And it's the choir imperfect. It's it's when I get you guys to sing on the song with me and I make this massive choir. <laughs> Originally the song had been a bit low key so I thought it wouldn't work but with this sort of upbeat soul thing I was like Hell yeah, let's do it. So I decided to put the call out again. In case you haven't seen it, this is the video call out for the choir that I put up to TikTok. I want you to sing on my next song release and here's how we're gonna do it. All you have to do is duet this video and sing along with me at the end. You and I hate so the next like week, basically, I'm downloading videos, editing them, making sure that they all line up and arranging them. And then I send it off to be mixed and mastered and I need a video clip. And that's when I call my friend, Josh Capello, who is good friend of mine. He's also a brilliant video editor, videographer. And I call him up and I'm just like, look, man, we need to make a music video. I have no idea what we're going to do. Just come over one night and we'll just film it. And eventually we came up with the idea. I won't spoil it because the music video is going to come out after this video. We had a lot of fun with it, but you'll see that soon. So this morning I am going through the duet videos for Lovers Again. I don't know if you can see that. All these little things are people who have duetted the song and I'm throwing them into the music video that I've made with Josh Capello and Daniel Nyland. Josh is about to come in a few hours. We're gonna put the final touches on the music video, but I wanted to put the choir in when it comes in in the song. I wanted to have that as part of the music video. So uh, this is gonna take me a couple of hours, but hopefully I'll be able to come back with an update in a little bit. All right. Well, I hate the fact that we're vlogging again. We're all gonna vlog it for all of our friends. Oh, this one's Leah. Let's have a look at her one and we can laugh at it together. Hate the fact that we love us again and we're both gonna hide it from all of our friends cause we try being lonely. What a voice! I love this voice! She's from Ireland. She's one of my favorite artists at the moment. Uh, we met through TikTok and now we're songwriters. Yes! And I just found Riley and Claire's. Uh, Riley wrote the line, guess I was looking for pieces of you. Wait, is that the one she wrote? No, 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 no. Riley wrote the line, the other half of me is looking like you. It is the great and powerful Riley Gaddies. Hate Gaddy's. the fact that we love us again. Oh, friends, what a voice. All these geniuses have amazing voices. And then finally we have Claire. You and I hate the fact that we're lovers again. So good. I'll be back with the full, the final, the choir together. Josh Capella. Let's go. I came in like a red. Best thing you've ever done? Yeah, it is the best thing I've ever done. Tell the people how good I am at editing. The Padawan has become pretty good. Am I the Padawan in this <laughs> situation? <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Josh found my... You're on my phone. <laughs> Josh found You don't understand. Why? Sometimes you need these emojis. You need the emojis and, and you don't have to go to Emojipedia every time you need the emojis. So you create, <laughs> create a little notes file on your computer. With all the emojis. So you're saying your three foremost use emojis are eggplant, peach, <laughs> and I only made this yesterday. My face. And I swear I needed those yesterday. Come back next week and there'll be a load more emojis there. It won't be that weird. <laughs> Weirdly enough, this song has had the best reaction from all the people that I know. And by that, I mean like a lot of my friends don't listen to my music and that's totally fine. I don't expect people to. But the reaction that I got from my friends for this song, they were like, this one is a banger. Like we'd play it at parties and everyone would love it. And I'll admit we're pretty damn cute <laughs> Then, even though all my shows have been cancelled now because of COVID, we did get to play a show a couple weeks ago and I got to play it live for the first time with my band Justin and Natalia and it was so much fun. I love playing this song live. I'm gonna play a little clip now. Thank you. Well, maybe you can love 
So I'm super proud of this song. I'm super proud of how it came together. I love the fact that it was a collaboration. I want to do more of this stuff because, all right, honestly, I'm very precious over my songs. I, I work really hard on them. I put a lot of effort into the lyrics as well, and I'm kind of protective over them as well. That's something that I'm working on. Collaboration is, is always super fun. I've often had amazing experiences from it, but I'm still like, in my heart of hearts, I like the idea of like sitting down, writing a song, my emotions kind of into the song, onto the page, but that's just an ego thing. I need to get over that. So I want to do more of this collaboration songwriting and of course I'm going to be doing more of the choir imperfect but I wanted to give a special shout out to Leah Morin who is as I said she's one of my favorite artists at the moment I'm so psyched that I get to watch her musical journey as well Riley Jane who's just a good friend of mine and I'm super proud of her for actually first of all she was she told me she was super nervous to even send the lyric suggestion and then like I managed to convince her to sing in the song and, and record a duet which again that was outside of her comfort zone so thank you Riley for that and also Claire I've never met Claire I believe Claire is from Canada and just like like, I'm so humbled by the fact that someone across the world like cares enough to want to get involved in the project She also recorded a video so like thank you guys so much and also thank you to the people who made suggestions But didn't make the final three obviously it's subjective and please 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 keep contributing Keep adding to the community because honestly, it's the best part of what I do So that's it guys the music video comes out super soon. So stay tuned for that. Enjoy much love. I'll see you soon